see if this works. Hopefully it connects. Alright, that's fine. Well, whatever. I'll go live and we'll just finish this. Yeah. Sorry about the mistake before. Um, I think everything's set up. Hey guys, this is Diego Gonzalez from MindlessPaint.com. And um, hopefully the mic works. Everything's working fine. I didn't get to test it. But uh, thanks for checking me out. This is like kind of a special edition of my channel. I'm doing actually a a custom paint job today and I usually don't stream on Fridays I usually stream like Tuesdays Thursdays but um, I just wanted to throw this one out there because this is pretty cool and I wanted to get it live so everyone can see so thanks for joining me and if you're just checking me out I'm painting a custom Harley Davidson and um, this is actually part of the art show that's coming in Munster. So this is Sunday. So if any of you guys are uh, out in Munster, Indiana, it's Northwest over here at the Center of Performing Arts. So it's a pretty um, big art show for custom paint and custom art. I'm gonna have one of, uh, I'm gonna have this featured in there. So that's pretty, you know, kind of excited for that one. And there's gonna be a lot of really good artists there. There's gonna be some like, a lot of tattoo artists. Um, graffiti artists. It's like pretty much a lot of urban art and um, I think it's dope. I think it's really cool. The show will be fun and just get to meet with people and talk to people, you know? So if you're just checking me out, I'm airbrushing this Harley Davidson tank and I'm doing the skull. You can see right here I have like the skull drawing and right now what I'm doing is just adding these little flames in here and it's pretty much most of it done and complete but I want to add these little highlight flames and just kind of show some little little tricks of how I do this too just little accents and it really brings out the entire painting I mix this with a cool mech design so it's really subtle but there's like little like uh, ghosts flames and I uh, use a candy this is a, a candy grabber orange and what I'm gonna do is a candy tequila yellow over it and candy's a nice color but it's really transparent and it's trans like loose and transparent and I think it has like this little shimmer this little like effect I say shimmer there's another guy he's like it's not sparkles it's uh what do you call it what's the man word for you know sparkles like uh What's it? Whatever, fluorescent or not fluorescent, but a pearl. Oh yeah, it's pearl. Pearl sounds a lot cooler. I'm like, okay. Whatevs. So I'm throwing these little kind of flamey things in here, and these little highlights just build in layers, and it builds the depth. So if you really got, you know, take your time and build this thing out you can really get a lot of levels of dimension a lot of like depth and whenever you see me paint I'm really like a madman I'm working so fast but when I do stuff like this I want to slow it down really kind of take my time I really want to do a cool piece of the show and uh, I want to show people what I can do too you know it's really important so hey guys, what's up Craig, what's up Richard, all you guys, Clint Worthington, hey man, Dustin. Everybody, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And what I'm painting right now is a, a Harley Davidson tank. I'm gonna be part of this art show Sunday, so in two days, I get to, you know, have some of my work displayed with some uh, other urban artists and uh, a lot of like tattoo artists at the Mun Munster City uh, Center for Performing Arts. So if anybody's out there, it's free admission. Just come hang out. You know, something to do cool on a Sunday. 
I think it's like one to three or something like that. Say hi, all that stuff. So I'm adding these little, kind of little like highlights right here, and you can see it right pop. And then after that, I'll show you what happens. Super cool. I'll add another transparent color on top of that. And that's what I love about airbrushing. It's like you can build so much, so much facets of color and depth in it. It's surreal. I think that's what drew me to airbrushing when I was a kid. It was like a really unique tool. And I wanted to be special and different, so kind of like thought maybe getting a airbrush would separate me from other artists. Um, it's been hard doing it though, but you know, after all the years, finally it's kind of paying off. It actually really is paying off. So, it wasn't the most popular thing to do. And everyone's like, do oil, man. You gotta do oil, you gotta do tattoos. And I was just like really adamant, like, no. No, bro. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Phil Pablo, hey, Noel. Everyone, thanks, appreciate you guys coming, checking my uh, workout. If you get a chance, please share, drop a like or whatever. That helps uh, get my uh, stream out there so other people can check it out too. It helps me out a lot, I appreciate it. And I'm adding these little tiny highlights in here. These little white highlights. And um, what that does is helps make the paint pop more once it's all clear coated. And it looks so beautiful when you clear it, man, it looks sick. And uh, that's what I really love about that too, the depth. So I kind of wisp it like that and then I'll drag it. It creates like a smoky effect if I do that. Kind of fades the color in. And if I switch guns, and this is a Wada HPCH, so this is like a really nice detail gun, I can add some, hey babe, what's going on? So I can add some of this yellow in there. And this really makes the flames really like stand out from the background. And then that's what really gives it the 3D effect, is when you create these highlights, right? And it makes a pop from the background that gives it the dimension to whatever you're painting. So any airbrush artists watching me, that's some, you know, like a quick tip. Uh, when you're finished, I always look at the whole thing and I'm like, okay, does this, does this thing like stand out? Like, if I look at this, and I always look at my work like I didn't make it, like it was somebody else's, and I'm super critical. I'm kind of a douche when it comes to that. I'm like, do I like this? And no, no. And what do I, well, what do I like about it? I'm like, oh, if, you, if this guy, you know, if I did this, it would look a lot better. So I'm really critical, super critical of my own work. I think every artist has to be. And I, yeah, I like compliments and stuff, but I, you know, the critical things, the little, you know, suggestions of things that make me better. I also follow a lot of other artists too, like, and that's how, you know, I learn from what they're doing. I saw a couple of flame tutorials today. Even though I've been doing it for years, I watch it over, you know, check it out and check it out. All right, so that's kind of done. What I want to do now is maybe bring some more of that mech tech out. I think that looks really cool and I don't want to hide it. It kind of, it's very subtle. And I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's super subtle, but let me throw some stuff in here to really make it like not subtle. So we do some crazy tech right here, right? And uh, I watch a lot of these, uh, you know, tutorials and airbrush stuff with skulls and flames. And it's, it's all the same skull and it's all the same flame and I'm pretty much doing something similar but I want it I want to make it me man you know so I want to add something different and this is just an experiment it's like you play with it I'm like I don't know what the hell I'm doing like I do but I know it looks good but I mean um, um how do you say 
Yeah, just practice, man. I think that's all art is. It's just like playing with stuff. And, and a lot of artists, I think, have that fear like, oh, I'm going to mess it up. I'm like, it's art. You can't mess it up. It's, it's your own. And even if you mess it up, no one will know. So you just roll with it. Be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all me. I meant to do that kind of thing. I mean, just do it. Whatever. No one's going to know. So I'm going to let this dry right here. And you see how I'm like moving slower? And what I'm doing is I'm spraying it right and then it's letting it dry. So this is a, a, a acrylic paint uh, with the automotive resin. So it's automotive paint by Createx. I love this paint. Um, and then I have a candy colors right here. I have tequila yellow and these are autoborn colors. And these are really thin. These shoot really nice. They're beautiful. And um, they're actually hard to control though. So I had some, you know, it's a learning curve when I started, but after all that, you know, hey, just some practice and you get to play with it. So I got this, like, this dread thing going on, this mech thing. I want to add, kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know, like, I had some of these jagged things right here. Like the Predator? Something else. I'm feeling like the Predator. Yeah. I mean, you guys watch, uh, and you guys watch uh, Aliens or any Alien fans out there. So if you can, if you check out what I'm doing here with the mech, I kind of like H.R. Geiger. His stuff is super like dark, but it's amazing. It's beautiful. Guy was a genius, man. Like his work is, I love it. And I kind of like, this is like me kind of playing around with some of his ideas and integrating them into my own. So as an artist, I'm always borrowing from other people. And I think Picasso said that. He said, uh, good artists copy, but great artists steal. And you know what he means by that is you're like, you're taking what you love <clears throat> about somebody else's work and in integrate it into your own. And just take the good stuff you like to you and leave everything else. And at the end of your career, you'll have something that's, you know, that's your style, it's unique, but it's, if you're humble enough, you'll say that, you know, hey, I borrowed from all these people. And uh, that's how you get good. That's how you get better. So. Make sure the lighting's good. I can't wait to clear this. I actually have a helmet too to match it. So maybe I'll do that tonight if I get like super like inspired. Um, I got a couple other like old stuff I gotta work on too though. So this is like the skull and you see my reference right there. I'm really checking it out. And I like working, here's a tip on the iPad because you can pinch zoom. So say you wanna see a dirt certain area you, and it's a high res right pinch zoom. So this is kind of like what I like to do, kind of like, you know, in the modern kind of new age, I want to use technology as an advantage to my advantage as an artist. And it's a little weird because I usually, I mean, use like photographs, right? And we all reference photos from photographs. Um, but I'm used to it now. When I first started doing the iPad thing, it was so weird. And then after a while, I just got, it was just like second nature now. Like now, like if I don't have an iPad looking off of it, I'm like freaking out. So that's good, that's good. I'm really checking my lines, my highlights. I always kill it with the highlights too. My little sister, she's always, she's my, one of my best and worst, you know, my best critics too. She, I don't know, something about your family, your little sisters and brothers, they'll tell you heartlessly everything uh, for, for your benefit though. And she's like, oh, you go crazy with the highlights, oh my God. And, and I'm like, I know I do, but I'm like, damn, man. I think that was my best work. I'll do my best work, and she's like, ah, oh, no. So, but that's that helps me get better and all that good stuff. So, adding 
these little highlights, and then I'm gonna add some more yellow to really make it super pop. And I like all this detail in here. I wanna keep that, maybe I can bring that out. So that's cool, that brings out that little ridge in his, uh, his, right? It's already a man in his nose, in his nose and everywhere. And that's a super cool parts that are going to get hit with that candy tequila yellow. And then they're going to super sparkle and shine under that clear, man. Yeah. And everyone loves sparkle, shine, clear, whatever. So that's... Uh, me just describing how how you know the the path and my freshman year of art college they always taught us that uh, we did a study it was a uh, uh, we did all the lines and you uh, connected them all hey what's going on hey Carol thanks for uh, joining me appreciate it and um, really just describing the area giving it like depth and stuff like that so it defines the curb surface. So see this bone right here, it's, it's like, it's a rounded surface. And these lines. Let you know that. So I study the image really, really uh, carefully. And I've been doing some skull drawings. If any of you guys have been watching uh, at night, I've been, you know, working on some of my anatomy to get better. So, yeah, it's, and it's helped, man. Like, my skulls are so much better. And I've only been doing my anatomy studies, like, I've been kind of slacking. I did a couple, I probably did like five or six of them. So these are all the highlights right here. I have the mech in there. Um, and I can show you guys real fast while I'm doing it. These are the uh, templates for the skull skeleton. If anybody's an airbrush artist out there, want some templates, um, hit me up. I'll design you some, make some, all that good stuff. And then I can go over it again. And what am I looking for? So when I do these highlights, I know I'm blocking the, the design. I'm trying not to, but... So the lightest color goes inside the lightest color. So it's methodical. I kind of want to make sure the brightest yellow, the, the whitest highlight is inside the brightest yellow. I don't want to include... A, uh, a white highlight inside of a dark red tone because that would it would mess up the, um, the flame and I have a flame here and it shows that so you can see inside is the lightest and outside is the darkest and deeper reds um, so always good to have references it's not cheating or anything it's actually like studying it's, you know it's like uh, you kind of like a student I, I like to see myself as just some art. And these little stippling dots, just to change it up, you know? And they can go back over it again with tequila yellow. And this is the candy color. And I love these colors because they're so, like, shoot so well and they're so soft. And they're, um, you can build them up one on top of the other. And it increases the intensity as you go. 
So if you have a real, if you want to get into airbrushing and you have a real kind of like keen eye and feel, like I think you do really good. I think when you airbrush or you just do art in general, you kind of have to have that. I don't know. You have to have. You have to be able to notice a lot of stuff, right? You have to be super like acute, like sensitive to like how things look and what's happening. I posted something earlier uh, about my mom, and uh, man, I, I, I wrote something. And whenever I, I get inspired to like write, or I think I think writing is a, you know it's hard too. I have to I just do it when I feel compelled to do it. I just like I gotta sit down and do it. I don't care where I'm at. I'll just do it. And um, hey, Carol, let me read this. Blah blah blah. Hey, I shared uh, get your business out there. Hey, awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All you guys. Hey, Jimbo, Carol, Maria. Paul, Michelle, all you guys, thanks for checking out my channel. I appreciate it. And um, every day or every week, I'm doing something new, man. So I really appreciate you guys watching and me kind of working on stuff. And it's just going to get better. And I really want to, you know, get it out there. So every single time someone shares it, just one more person sees it, that helps me, man. And that's why I'm here. And I just like sharing art with people, you know? I love seeing other people's work. And I'll say my mom, she really appreciated art and she could always see something and want to make it beautiful, make it better than the space or the area or whatever than it was. And I think that was the, you know, what inspired me. That was like the most amazing thing ever that like my mom could make these baskets and all these cool Halloween costumes and stuff. And uh, that really inspired me. Like I wanted to, you know, emulate her. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks for, uh, dude, for subscribing. I appreciate it. And that was Twitch, I believe. I know I have to plug in my, uh, so if you guys are talking to me, I might not see that. But I appreciate you following me. So I'm adding these really cool uh, tequila highlights in here. And I think I built that up pretty good. Now I wanna switch to a grabber orange. And this is that really like red orange color. Like it's perfect. And I use this color and I didn't even wanna add red. because I think this was just perfect as it was. And it kind of like scared me when I added red too. But I was really soft, subtle with it, and then um, came back with this color and really knocked the highlights back and brought forward the um, uh, the, the, the brightest colors. I knocked back the dark tones and brought forward the highlights. So if anybody wants to learn how to paint, draw, all that stuff, check Tell me on my, on my channel too. I just don't talk about airbrushing. I always I talk it in, in general paint theory, you know? So these techniques will really work for any kind of painting. Maybe I'll do that in my next channel. I'll just do something different, like not even airbrush, just straight up like paintbrush some stuff just to show everyone how theories and everything works, you know? And if you're an artist, like a true artist, you can use any tool because you understand the concepts and everything of art and it just transfers over to everything. So I'm really building up these colors. I like it. It's, I like how that's working. I'm looking on the camera. Maybe in here it's too dark. So I'll mess with that. But I don't know. Let's see. So inside there. Yeah, you know what? I'll throw some more design in there. It's Friday. I'm here by myself, but that's cool. That's cool, guys. I'm chilling with people on Twitch. Everyone else is out having fun. I, I like painting, though. 
This is literally what I like to do for fun. And this is my job, so. It's kind of nice. Except when I don't want to do what I want to do, and then it sucks. I don't want to paint something. It's like, uh. Get bored. I get bored super easy. That's why it's like almost almost impossible or hard, super hard for me to paint uh, the same thing twice. I just it just irks me. Just the idea of it irks me now. So yeah, looks very cool. And then adding this grabber orange over it. And see what that did? It made the texture and that white, this is transparent, and that brought that white down. So that white was super intense. So that's a quick tutorial and how to do some realistic flames and some stuff. And actually, you guys can check this out too. Blah. I did uh, the rest of the tank, I got, you know, bored, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a skull here, and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a skull there, and I, I always go overboard, but I guess it's a good thing for my customers, like, oh yeah, go overboard all you want. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll see what I can do. So this is that other side, and I cleared it. Actually, I'm gonna clear it now, and then I added all the design and everything in there, so you can check that out right there. And uh, other side, too, is another skull, so. And actually, you know what? Before I do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the Harley logo on there. So I appreciate you guys following me, checking me out, subscribing, all that good stuff. Hey, what's going on, Todd? You just dropping in, dude? I'm going to uh, have another one I'm working on too, bro. So check that out with me. Maybe later tonight I might go live again. So thank you for following, subscribing, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll be back Tuesday for sure. And maybe I'll go live Sunday at the art uh, show. So I think that would be cool. Maybe I'll do that for sure. So if you guys are checking me in, it's mindlesspaint.com. And anybody wants to learn, check out my channel on YouTube. It's uh, Diego Diablo. It's youtube.com slash Diego Diablo. And uh, Instagram, all that good stuff, mindlesspaint. So see you guys later. And uh, thanks for checking me out. Bye.